Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Champions 2020 segment, brought to you by the Michigan Education Association. The MEA's members, educators from across our state, are proud of this year's high school graduates. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Learn more at mea.org. Athletes aren't the only ones who've had to make adjustments this year. Commencement speakers doing things in a very different way, but Press Pass and the MEA giving an opportunity to 10 outstanding scholars to present their messages on behalf of the class of 2020. Tonight, we'd like you to meet Miss Avery Peplinski from Owasso High School. Hello, Avery, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Very good. Uh, you had an outstanding career at Owasso. We know you have big plans. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, we want to hear about 90 seconds of your address to fellow Trojans and students across the state of Michigan. We have finished our high school journey, but I urge you to continue learning and growing as a human being. Whether you travel the world, decide to surround yourself with those different from you, or simply read about alternate viewpoints, there are many avenues to further educate ourselves on different perspectives and beliefs. Growth does not truly start until we leave our comfort zones and allow our conventional ways of thinking to be challenged. The class of 2020, I have a challenge for us. I challenge us all to do our best to become more cultured, well-rounded individuals and allies. We must push for equality for all and stand by those marginalized. I encourage you not to merely sit back and remain silent, but to make your voice heard and fight for those who have been silenced at the hands of oppression. While there are very few groups that I can say with certainty will change the world, I know that the class of 2020 will be part of the change I speak of today. Born in the aftermath of 9-11, entering society as adults during a pandemic and historic push for racial equality and acceptance of gender identity, we know a thing or two about the fight for justice and change. We have certainly experienced our fair share of social discord, but we have emerged stronger from it. Many of us have already taken the steps to become an ally and show our solidarity for various causes. So I ask you, keep posting, keep pushing, and keep the conversation going, for we can and will be the change this world so needs. Wow, that was outstanding, Avery. Deshaun Tate, you know more about Lansing Waverly than, Waverly than you did about Avery, but well, what do you think of her message for social justice? No, I didn't like it, Jack. I loved it. You know, when I'm thinking about the things that she said in her message, growing, um, learning, and educating yourself, all those things being very, very extremely important, congratulations to Ms. Poplinski. Avery, why was that an important message for you to give? Why did you pick that message? This was really important to me because I truly believe that we are a point in history where change is genuinely among us. Um, this class has known our fair share of hardships, as I said, and we truly can be the catalyst for change. The world is going to completely change. It's been upended, and our generation is going to be entering in society where we have the capability to make it better than it was previously was. Four outstanding years in Owasso. Can you tell us about your future plans? Yes, I will be attending the University of Michigan where I am planning to major in biology on a pre-med track and I'm also gonna be studying French. Well, I'll be working for her someday. <laughs> Avery Peplinski, Owasso High School. Fantastic message. Really appreciate you joining us. We have three opportunities left in our Champions 2020 series. If you would like to give a speech or you know someone who should, contact me directly, jack at jackeblin.net. We will be right back with our cool and smooth segment, our weekly awards, up next.